Hi guys, it's me again. So today I'm going to be doing a what's in my skating bag because I think I bring a lot of helpful things to the rink and maybe if you guys are an ice skater, it would be a good thing for you to bring these too. So I have this bag. I actually made this. I've made a few for my friends too. I might be putting some up on my shop, but this is like the bag, not the kiss and cry bag because um, I don't have that, but I have this bag that I made by myself. It's just oil cloth and it has two handles. So what I have in here is a notebook. So like if my coach needs to write something down or I need to remember what spins I'm doing or my footwork or what moves in the field I'm doing, that's what I write in here or like things that I want to get done this week all that kind of stuff goal setting very important then I have some pens for that tissues tissues are very important um whenever I ice skate my nose gets runny and I know everybody else does when they ice skate but like I need tissues or I cannot survive also it's a good idea to keep these like extra ones if you run out of the tube because once you run out of the tube your life is literally over and your nose just runs the whole time and then for me I have contacts so I have this bag filled with all my contact stuff so I just have some contacts in here and some contact solution and that is it for my bag I just have a lone glove in there but I tend to lose gloves and not have pairs for gloves next I have a Zuka bag um I'm gonna bring this onto my bed <laughs> It looks like this. I really like the design. I used to have that one with the snowflakes on it that everybody else had, but um, it kind of broke down, <laughs> so I got a new one. What I have in here, <laughs> I basically have a thousand pairs of gloves. So I have, I have this purple one, a black one, fuzzy black ones, white, a burgundy one with jewels on it, a lone black one, some red sparkly gloves, red gloves with like candy cane design on it, and these gray ones with reindeers on it. Yeah, I have a lot of gloves. I think I need to um, clean out my bag. So next I have two spinners. This is my old one. I just bought a new one from one of my coaches, Kim. I'll link her website below. Basically, she's made her own like spinners. It comes in this really cute bag. It looks like this. I got the purple one and it has the purple like letters on it too. It's really pretty. I've definitely used this before, but this is a brand new one. So I haven't used this one yet, but they're really fun and really good for practicing spins off ice and also for jumps too, to get over your axis. Like that's a good thing to start with if you're warming up. I mean, you should warm up, okay, if you're an ice skater. Warming up is definitely essential. Still in the outside pocket, I have um, a lone tight sock. <laughs> I don't know how I got these, but I have these two like markers. You guys seen like coaches and stuff like right on the ice with these like huge washable markers. I don't know how I have these, but um, I do. In case I want to write on the ice or something. I have this headband. I never use this, so I'm probably going to take it out but it's kind of just to keep my ears warm if my ears are really cold. Also, this is good for warming yourself up if you don't have like um, a bicycle pedal thing. Like we have a warm up room with a bicycle pedal thing. So you can like use a jump rope to warm up your body before you start like warming up. So like warm up your body before you start doing like off ice jumps, spins, stuff like that. In the other pocket, oh, I found the glove. I found the um, pair to that glove that I couldn't find. So what's in the rest of the pocket on this side? I have this thing which basically I'll show you on my skates, but basically you can tighten them like this. If you can't do it with your fingers, you basically just pull it with this thing. It has a little hook at the end and then you just pull. I haven't used this recently because my feet have been falling asleep because my skates are too tight. So <laughs> don't do that very often. <laughs> and then I have a squeaker. So this thing, it's supposed, you're supposed to, so this is a squeaker. You basically put it on your foot where you're supposed to cross feet so you can have tighter air positions, but you just put it right there and then you just put it around your leg and that's it. Shh. I also have a few things hanging on my Zuka bag. I have this, it's from Salt Lake City, Utah. It was from my friend Jenny, she's so nice. And I also have a hand sanitizer. I don't know why I still have this, this sucks. I'm gonna throw it out. I have this hand sanitizer, it's better. It's just like one of those little ones you get bath and body works. And then this little thing, this is for my old skate. I think I might just get rid of it. It's kind of what they use on the Adeas where they just kind of like put it across here so they don't loosen up. That's it for the outside. Now I can take a look at the inside. I have some bunga pads. If you guys, if you skaters don't have bunga pads, these are really nice. I can't skate without bunga pads anymore because they're just so nice and comfy. I also have my old pair in here just in case, I don't know. After a while they just get kind of old and then they start having holes in the gel. They Basically they look like this, they go around your ankles and then there's like this jelly stuff on the inside to protect your ankles. And on the inside I have my skates. 
So these are my skates. They are Jackson Premiers. My blades are Gold Stars. I tried the other Jackson blades that had like the gray bottoms to it. Like they weren't wood, they were gray. But those really did not work out for me. So I just went back to one that was kind of similar to my old pair. For my skates, even though my feet aren't that sticky, I use these things. Some people have sticky feet, I really don't, but I just put them in there just in case. And here are my soakers, they're actually really cute. They don't match my bag or anything, but they're red, black, and white with some flowers on it. I'm actually selling these on an Instagram account if you'd like to buy them. This is one of them. This is like mine. They're like skinny. This one has Batman on it for like, this is more aimed toward a boy. And then I have these puffy ones, like the big puffy ones that you see in like stores. This one's really cute. It has red towel on the inside and it has hearts on the outside. So I will link it down below. It's love.stitch.crafts. Love and I have a towel. Definitely need a towel if you're a nice skater because you need to wipe off the blades so they don't get rusty. Oh yeah, the soakers are used to like, they have towel on the inside. So if you put them on your skates, like they're supposed to dry them. So I have a towel just to dry off all the excess and then just put the soaker on. I have another one too. It says live, love, skate on it. I think I might just keep one in there since my bag is a little full from all the gloves. <laughs> and then I have my guards, which is the last thing in here. They match with my Zuko bag. They're just teal and pink. A lot of people have this color. I don't know why I picked this color. I was actually thinking of getting new ones and doing like red, black, or yellow and black, but then either if it's like yellow and black, it'd look like a bee. Red and black, all, most boys have, so I really don't know, but this matches with my Zuko bag pretty great, so thank you so much for watching. Make sure to go down in the description and buy one of these if you are looking for an off-ice spinner. Kim, the coach who sells them, has worked really hard on them, and I'm so glad that she's been selling them. And don't forget to check out my soakers if you're looking for a new pair. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry for the two in a row ice skating. I'm trying to, you know, broaden my video horizons. I mean, I know not all of you guys are skaters, but I thought this would be an interesting video concept. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you sometime. Bye.